All right, guys, today we're talking about power supplies in general. Uh, I get so many emails, and uh, in the end, I end up answering about like maybe 10% of the massive amount of emails that I get, but a lot of them are always setup questions. Hey, guys, I'm building a computer, blah, blah, blah. I want to do this. Give me some advice. And I see a lot of lists, um, configuration lists, and a lot of them I see lately that you guys have problems with your power supplies, and I keep seeing uh, people make the same mistakes. You're buying cheap power supplies, and cheap power supplies are not good. Uh, now, in certain instances, people are kind of uh, backing up on the case and the power supply, spending less money on those because they want to get a bitter, better video card, better CPU, um, and they want to get you know, more memory uh, or, in turn, anything more like Crossfire, get a second video card, get a bigger monitor, etc. But the power supply is an intricate part of your computer, especially if you're an enthusiast, if you're a gamer, uh, if you're overclocking, uh, if you want a system that needs to be there, if you're building a workstation, needs to be reliable. Uh, those are all things that require a high-end power supply, a good power supply uh, that's going to make your computer function the way it's supposed to and not give you problems. I've literally almost had my house burned down because of a cheap power supply. That's not good. I've seen sparks and I've seen fire. It's bad. Uh, so I'm going to talk today about uh, the, what I recommend to the majority of people out there when they send me one of those emails asking questions about what power supply to get or how to change their setup list. And that is getting a Corsair power supply. It's very simple. Uh, now there are a lot of good brands out there, uh, and there's a lot of ones that are you know in the mid range and the affordables. But uh, if you had to ask me, you know, to recommend you a power supply, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it's going to be a Corsair. Reason why? Well. It's high quality. It's literally what you want to get. It's the type of power supply that's going to last in your system for a very long time. It's going to be extremely reliable, has a great warranty, and it's clean and it's efficient. A lot of people don't really care about efficiency. They're thinking, it's an 850 watt power supply. How is it more or less efficient? But what you don't know is that power coming in from the wall uh, is actually taking up a lot of power out of the wall more than it's going into your computer. And that difference, that delta in between, is what judges the efficiency of the power supply. Now these are all extremely, extremely efficient. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. I'm going to show you this power supply. Uh, check it out. This is an HX650, uh, very popular power supply. This is going to you know, handle most people's uh, computing needs, even workstations and even gaming rigs with multiple video cards. Uh, it's a fully modular power supply, okay, and it's 650 watts. Now this thing, uh, Corsair is really good with their ratings. They actually underrate these a little bit. Uh, everyone else kind of overrates them. You know, they'll give you a thousand watt power supply and call it a 1200. Uh, Corsair does the opposite. They underrate them. So these will actually power more than you think. Now, let's talk a little bit first about why you want to upgrade your power supply. The first reason is going to be more power equals more hardware. Uh, whether you want to add more graphics cards, see these have extra ports here. It's a modular power supply. You can add uh, SLI or Crossfire X. If you want to add a more powerful CPU, some of the new latest CPUs from Intel uh, have over 130 watt TDP, so you are going to need a bigger power supply, you want to run a bigger RAID array, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to need more plugs. Uh, now, like I showed you right here, this is a modular power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out this Corsair uh, little pouch here that has all the modular power supplies. Uh, just, to, just to illustrate, you know, the far, as far as connectivity goes, what you're going to need. Uh, so, you know, on your standard uh, PSU, you're going to have a single PCI Express like this one. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you'll have an 8. Uh, and sometimes you'll have two, but what if you're running Crossfire X or SLI? You're going to need more of these. So this is what you're paying for. You're paying for the extra amount of these. Uh, you're going to get the addition to have uh, literally a completely separate, you know, second power uh, video card. You're going to power two video cards. Uh, and on certain power supplies, like not in this one per se, but you can power three uh, video cards. So that's the main reason. The second uh, is reliability. Uh, you know, power supplies do fail. They're one of the most common items to fail uh, in a, a desktop. And this... Uh, type of power supply gives you basically almost 100% reliability. They very rarely fail when you're seeing one and two and three year warranties uh, on even mid-range and high-end power supplies from other companies. Uh, you take a look at this. You have a seven year warranty on uh, the Corsairs. Uh, so you definitely have, uh, they're definitely backing their product. They know that it's going to last for a long time. Now the second reason uh, is the efficiency. I'm going to go ahead and turn over here. Look down here, you do have an efficiency chart. Uh, and I kind of want you guys to realize that their uh, efficiency changes. It's not always 100% or 80% or 75%. It changes based upon the load. So you're going to see that the most efficient area uh, for this Corsair power supply is at about 50%, a little bit higher. Uh, so you're seeing that when you're inputting uh, 115 volts in the black, it's at 84% efficiency right over here. It's even above. It's like an 85% efficiency when you're at 50% load. But when you're uh, you know, over here at 100% load, it drops down to 82. But that's still pretty good. If you can find this chart, 
uh, on another brand, you're going to see it's not as good. Corsair definitely has uh, some of the better ones out there. Your efficiency is important to you. It's going to save you power. It's going to save you heat. And more importantly uh, for enthusiasts is that it gives you clean, clean energy. Uh, it is going to give you a better overclock with that cleaner energy. Uh, and it's, it's, a big, it's a big difference. You'd be surprised how many, uh, even if it's just a few megahertz on your base clock, what that'll do. I mean, if you're running a high multiplier, that's going to give you uh, a high overall frequency. Also, right up here, Take a look at the noise levels, uh, same thing. Uh, you know, the higher you go, the more noise it's gonna make. So down here uh, at 325 watts, which is where most computers are uh, with a quad core and memory when they're at idle and they're not really doing stuff or playing a simple game, uh, you're very, very quiet on this power supply. It's because it doesn't produce a lot of heat, high grade components, uh, but uh, it does get louder, of course, as you crank up, it's gonna get louder. 40 decibels is still pretty quiet though. Uh, this is another important reason uh, to look at. The last reason is just basically that it's safer. Uh, the, you know, the overclocks, I mean the, sorry, overvolt protection, uh, overcurrent protection, fire protection. I mean, seriously, I've seen these things uh, blow up on people, so it's not good. Uh, and then finally, uh, I think one of the reasons that people overlook all this kind of stuff uh, is because it costs more, so they don't get it. But you know what? You're actually saving money by going with the high-end part. Uh, the, you know, if you get a high-end power supply, it's so much less likely to break uh, that over a period of time, you're buying two or three power supplies over the course of seven years, it's gonna make up for the price of this. And in turn, you didn't have to go to the store twice. You didn't have to buy a new power supply twice. You didn't have to deal with any type of uh, RMA process or warranty process. Uh, and you have spend more time up doing what you're supposed to be doing, which could be editing videos or pictures or playing video games and less time waiting in line on the phone or at uh, you know, FedEx shipping stuff over. Uh, so very, very important. Now, uh, I wanna talk to you a little bit, a little bit about uh, picking the right power supply. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do it. A lot of people just ballpark it. I got two video cards, I got a quad core, I got four hard drives. Uh, 650, 750 should work fine. Some people overdo it and they get these thousand watt power supplies. There's no real reason, uh, you know, you're overdoing it. You're also bringing yourself out of that efficiency curve. You kind of want your system on idle to be like right at the most efficient point uh, so that you get the most amount of uh, power uh, and waste the least amount of power. It's better for the environment, better for your electricity bill. Uh, but there is another way, and that is to use a calculator. Calculators make things really, really simple. Basically, they take into account what processor you have, what motherboard you have, what memory you use, how much of that memory you have, how many hard drives, uh, any peripheral cards you may have, etc. Now, I want you guys to check out this link. It's bit.ly, uh, it's bit.ly forward slash Y-A-W-A-S. And what you're gonna see uh, when you get to this bit.ly is this right here. Take a look at this. This is your power calculator. Uh, basically, uh, as you see here, you're gonna be picking your physical CPU, what type of motherboard you have, uh, what type of CPU, the TDP of that CPU, the clock speed, even if you overclock it, that takes more power. Uh, you're gonna see the memory that you're gonna use, your graphics cards, how many of them, how many drives, whether they're SCSI, IDE, or SATA. Uh, if you're using SSDs, how you can uh, take into account for those. Your peripheral drives, like Blu-ray players and DVD RWs. You can even check water cooling, tech cooling, how many fans you have. And basically, once you've input all this information, uh, up here at the top, it's going to give you uh, the wattage that it recommends. And you kinda wanna go a little bit above that or around that area. It's already calculating for 90%, so it's got a 10% uh, leeway, if you want to give it maybe 15 or 20 percent, it'd be good too. That gives you a way to uh, upgrade in the future. But it's going to give you your recommended wattage, and that's what type of power supply you want to get. Now, remember that Corsairs are kind of underrated, uh, and most of them are about on point. And some of the cheaper ones are a little bit overrated. They'll tell you a little bit more because they want to sell you that power supply. They don't think you're going to need it. But using a calculator like this is very, uh, very useful to determine your needs uh, as far as what type of power supply you want to buy. Uh, so it's very important uh, to pick the right power supply as far as efficiency is concerned. You want to get the better power supply for a multitude of reasons, but reliability, uh, overcurrent, and over voltage protection are top notch. Uh, having the seven year warranty is always great. Saving the money is important. Uh, and then last but not least, the ability to hook up more hardware to get uh, more connections, more SLI, more crossfire, more power uh, for your system. So if you're gaming uh, or you're using it as a workstation, you're going to do things faster. You're going to beat that guy. You're going to get the headshot or you're going to get that movie edited just that much faster and that's money in your pocket. Uh, so there you have it. Just a quick overview and that's basically just a push towards high-end power supplies. Um, there are other companies besides Corsair. If you ask me right off the bat, the simplest one is Corsair, but uh, there are other companies that sell good power supplies. As long as you're going high-end, don't get cheesy power supplies. If you're on a super budget, it's a simple computer, it's not important, don't worry about it. If you're an enthusiast though, you have that pride in your system, you want it to be running all the time, you don't want it to break, you don't want it to burn your house down, uh, and you want to have a good overclock, you want it to be stable.
this is a good way to go. A Corsair 650 watt power supply, you can't go wrong with it or anything from the Corsair line. Uh, and that's basically it. A little PSU knowledge for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll see you guys next time.